great to be joined here by Mary Goodwin. And Mary, we appreciate you stopping by. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Hey, you know, just coming off, I'm glad we were able to catch you. You know, you're going so fast out there in the mile. Just kind of talk about what it meant to you to go out there and set the program record this past week. Yeah, I mean, it really meant a lot, like, especially, like, coming from, like, high school. Like, I wasn't really that good of a runner. Like, I just ran a 5'11", and in high school I would be running, like, 6'20". So just coming this far has, like, really been great. And it's really been an honor to, like, break uh, Kristen Petron's record because, I mean, I never, like, got to race with her, but I've heard lots of things about her, and I know she's a really hardworking athlete, and so it's really kind of an honor to break her record and have my name up there. <laughs> It seems like you're kind of getting used to getting your times up there. You know, you had the steeple, you know, not too long ago, getting that record, too. I mean, how nice is it to see, you know, all of your work paid off these last few years and how it's starting to climb up, up those times? Yeah, definitely. I I have been, you know, day in, day out trying to put in that hard work and finally kind of seeing it show off and seeing all that summer training and the winter training, seeing it finally, like, show up for me has just really been great. And it just helps push me even more in practice because I know you know if I worked hard then and it's paying off it's just gonna get better and better so yeah. how's the transition too you know not just going from indoor to outdoor but you know you kind of have that weird break because you know you guys come in December you do one meet and then you're kind of <laughs> gone for a month so what is it like to then go into that kind of have the alumni meet to kind of get the rust knocked off and then jump into that one last week yeah the alumni meet's nice because it's just you get to be kind of with the family like the whole track family from you know generations before so it's nice just to go and get out there and run and run with other people and um, kind of just enjoy, like really enjoy the sport and not have to worry about competition. And how much do you kind of use too, you know, going from the cross season to get into the track season and vice versa, how much do you kind of use those two to kind of parlay, you know, your training? Um, definitely the cross season, I get a lot of my endurance, like really build up the endurance at that point. And then once I kind of can transition into track, I'll start doing more track workouts, get a little more speed, but it, that, you know, cross season coming in just really helps keep my endurance up all the way through, you know, at the end of outdoor. So it definitely makes sense why you're a mid to long distance runner, because if you do cross country, it's going to be not so hard to then transfer it to the track. Do you feel like that's really helped you, especially you said your endurance and just keeping up in those those long races? Yeah, definitely. I think without having like that cross country aspect of it, it'd be a lot harder to run those longer distances. And I definitely uh, do a lot better in the longer distances. So I think um, just having that cross country background really helps, especially when I get up to like the 3K and the 5K and, and track. You know, and then kind of touch on too, you know, coming kind of to Bemidji State. One, had you been to Minnesota before, ever before coming out here? And also, no. you're originally from Alaska, so what kind of led you to choosing to come out here to Minnesota? Yeah, I've never been to Minnesota before. I pretty much got a call from Coach uh, Lynch, and he knew my coach in high school, and so we kind of just got to talking. And I never really planned on running in college at all, so I was just like, oh, maybe, like, I'll think about it, and you know. Um, Coach Lynch really just, uh, his just personality and how he like came to the sport really enticed me to come here. And I mean, even seeing like, you know, pictures and videos of Bemidji, I was like, it's really a gorgeous place, like different than anywhere else I've ever been. And so I was like, well, you know, I've never heard of Bemidji, but it might as well try, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I'm really glad I came here. So. That's great, yeah, and I mean, I'm sure you adjusted well to the, the climate, too, because I know up in Alaska, it's very similar to kind of down here, so I'm sure that made it easier for you to transition down here. Yeah, definitely. It's it's pretty similar. It's a little little colder here, but it definitely is kind of similar weather. <laughs> How much are you looking forward to, too, you know, going off to UND this week and just kind of getting back in the swing of regular meets now every weekend? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm running the 3K this weekend, so I'm excited to kind of get back into a little more distance kind of base stuff, but... Um, we like the UND track. It's a little bit longer. It's a 300 meter track, so it'll be just a little bit different of a experience. And we also get to run against some Division One schools, so we get a little more competition than we're used to if we're, you know, at a Division Three school or something. <laughs> All right, Mary. Well, we really appreciate you stopping by. Great catching up with you. We look forward to talking to you again here soon. Thank you.